I wonder if Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. So many beautiful plants. Oh. And... Only oh. some of them are lethal. Forgotten how bright joy is. Why did you bring us here? I wanted you all to see what bravery looks like. We have to take them home. At least they tried to destroy the birth records. At least they tried. And the rest of the town hanged them on this bridge. Are they just going to leave those people hanging there till they rot? It's medieval. I wish I was half as brave as Tommy Cramner and the Lushfords.
field. Odd. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. Got my eye on you. Nice to see you, Mom. Is that a new suit? It's fantastic. Right, Toe. Should clear up soon, I imagine. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. There you are. Lovely day for it. Right oh. How have you been? Nice to see you, ma'am. For you today. Sally Boyle! I hope you found me Uncle Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. I have indeed. You're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? 
Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder f- for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water it all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Gwen's got something to eat at least. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mom, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashia is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. 
I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course you would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, of course you would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God, I'm almost done with this new batch. Jesus, it smells like burning chemicals. Oh, shit. Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty. Jesus, no. Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode on the crystallizer's broken. Ugh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Once upon a time, there was a lady who lived in a lake. A powerful alchemist was in love with her, but she refused to be his. Not until he'd taught her all his secrets. The alchemist laughed and laughed and said, What does a pretty girl want with chemistry? And that made her angry. But he humoured her, and he showed her his laboratory, and she amazed him with her learning. Her powers grew and grew, until one day she was as great a chemist as he was. 
Some even said greater. He started to be afraid. Surely he'd know that she'd use his secrets against him someday. What he didn't foresee was that she'd leave him for the general. Oh, I'm rubbish at stories, aren't I? Bloody hell, I've lost my dollar. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question. I have a big Victorian bed that my husband inherited from his grandma. But most nights, he crawls up to sleep in the small bedroom, in the small bed we have there. He promises, and it's not because I snore, but he knows me why he does, and I'm not sure he even knows. He seems a little sad. What should I do? Be 
anyone. Well, Patty, are you sure he actually is your husband? <laughs> well, you can't be too careful these days, can you? <laughs> no, but seriously, Patty, we do what it takes to stay happy, don't we? And a happy mask is scientifically scarred. and not have nightmares. So, come on, have a little conjugal consideration. Oh, it's been too long. Lovely day for it. Lovely weather. All right. Stop it! This is a fucking state of affairs. Pardon my French. And 
least I don't have to wear that idiotic mask. What have you got for us? were cleansed. We could see everything happening. Strength. Change how everyone. Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? 
Let me go in. They not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. A cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Your customer relations leave something to be desired.
Home sweet home.
Oh, what fun. thermostat N7 triode. I think I can fix my lab. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? It's always darkest before the dawn. Supreme Executive. Mum. Dad. I've come out. Game me, and I did eat. At least. 
least I don't have to wear that idiotic mask. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. How many hours would it take to fill the Albert Hall? To the gardens. Screaming. That's we all. used to have gardens. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden history. Drink up. What kind of bedtime story would you tell me? What do you think all day long while you're lying there waiting for me to come back? 
Do you know all the secrets? Or are you just thinking that you have a poopy nappy and the ceiling is full of cracks? my mind. How much joy did I take? It's vague so quickly. I can't take joy like this. <laughs> 